Each lung is wide inferiorly at the base, and the base of each lung will rest on the diaphragm muscle. So this, the surface, which you can't really see here, which is against the diaphragm, is this diaphragmatic surface. Then you have this curving surface, which would be underneath the ribs and the sternum. And this curving surface is referred to as the costal surface. The surface that faces the mediastinum is referred to as the mediastinal surface. The narrow upper part of the each lung is referred to as the apex. So the lungs go from this wide base and taper to a conical point, which extends into the upper thoracic inlet. And uh, these upper points are referred to as the apices. Apex singular, apices plural. We zoom in on on them, you can see here is the apex of the right lung, and here is the apex of the left lung. Here is the right lung, and here is the left lung. Notice that the right lung is divided into three lobes. You have a superior lobe, a middle lobe, and an, an inferior lobe. The superior lobe is separated from the middle lobe by a deep fissure, which you can see right over here. This is the horizontal fissure. And the middle lobe is separated from the inferior lobe by an oblique fissure. On the left side, the left lung has two lobes, a superior lobe and an inferior lobe. And these lobes are separated by an oblique fissure. Notice because of the asymmetrical location of the heart, you have in the left lung this notch, which is referred to as the cardiac notch. On the surface, you can see this irregular mosaic-like pattern. This pattern represents the boundaries between lobules. So the lobules have connective tissue boundaries which are visible on the surface of the lung.